Say you're on. Mm -hmm. All right, steel. <clears throat> now, the most important ingredient in steel, in fact, the definition of steel, is iron plus carbon. Because the main atom in steel is iron. Fe. Iron has the symbol Fe, and I have no pins. <laughs> no, I'm recording everything, mate. Turn the camera I'm back. Okay, iron, Fe, is a very important atom. It's the most important atom in engineering. And if we only had iron by itself, the material we would have is this heavy, soft stuff that you can make tie wire out of. That's about almost pure iron. It's very ductile. Almost feels like copper, like a thin, like a soft copper. <clears throat> so it's not uh, particularly useful by itself unless we make it a bit stronger and we add some carbon to it. And the carbon is transforms iron into steel. Also, uh, there's a whole lot of other properties we can do. But as soon as we put carbon in it, we then have some more control over the properties of this stuff called steel. So from now on, we're going to call it steel because it has carbon in it. Can I get away from the coke? Now, if we have a low percentage of carbon, then uh, we call this one a mild steel or even a, a dead mild steel. And as we increase the carbon, we call it medium, high carbon, etc. You can put too much carbon in, and it's no longer steel. And uh, you have uh, further up, you have uh, cast iron. Now, those percentages are percentage by weight. Carbon is much lighter than iron. Iron is a heavy atom, um, and carbon is lighter. It's about four times as heavy as carbon, roughly. So, if you wanted to know that in terms of the number of atoms, you multiply those numbers by about four. Anyway, the, the carbon content that we have in steel has a big effect on how well you can heat treat the steel. So if you don't have any carbon or very low levels of carbon, you won't be able to heat treat it at all. So you can heat it up and quench it and it's still soft. Like if you've got a nail, a household nail, heat it up red hot, quench it in water, it's still soft. Because it has hardly any carbon, it's ductile steel. But if you had the steel from a chisel, for example, and you heat that up red hot and then you quench it in water, that will become very hard now. Harder than it was before, probably. And next time you use it, it might snap because it's too hard. So it's variations in the carbon content in order to give us the properties that we desire for our product. Here's a more um, detailed list of uh, carbon <coughs> content and what it might be used for. So things like uh, knives and, and blades that have to stay sharp tend to be the hardest and the softer ones that, have, that, that need to be able to move, bend or have some toughness about them. Now, if we go over a certain percentage, yeah, the highest you can get to is around about one, one and a half percent carbon. After that, it's getting too, too much carbon for the steel, and you begin to lose properties. It becomes very brittle and difficult to work with. Now, there's a couple of videos on uh, properties and grain structure, which uh, you can see here, and you can run them directly off the website. Um, they're basically telling you what is a grain, that, which is the properties of, a, of an element. So we can turn this off now.